From underdogs defying the odds to titans showing true supremacy, I am the Arm Historian, and this is the story of five of history's most iconic arm wrestling matches. In November of 1978, the infamous giant Cleve Dean, back then a relatively new arm wrestling sensation from Georgia, challenged Virgil Arciero, a highly regarded arm wrestler with an unbeaten streak of almost three years at that point, to a super match in Las Vegas. Cleve offered both of them to put down $2,500 and Virgil accepted. The super match, which was to be a best two out of three, took place at the Silver Slipper in Las Vegas and attracted significant side bets, totaling over $11,000 per side. In the first match, Cleve convincingly defeated Virgil, causing tension in the crowd. After a half hour break, Virgil adjusted his strategy for the second match, held out longer than before but still fell short, cementing Cleve's status as the top arm wrestler in the world. Virgil lost $2,500 of his own money and the unofficial title of the best arm wrestler. Cleve, on the other hand, celebrated his victory by ordering and consuming three extravagant dinners for one meal. This win marked the start of Cleve Dean's eight-year reign as the dominant figure in arm wrestling. During the filming of the classic arm wrestling documentary Pulling John in 2004, a young up-and-coming Russian athlete was to face the legendary John Brzezink. The match between Alexei Voivoda and John Brzezink took place at the Zloty Tour and would function as a culmination of the documentary, possibly showing a proverbial passing of the torch. The two met in the absolute finals of the event, after both winning their respective weight class. John did end up losing the match to one of Alexei's explosive hits, but perhaps more telling was Alexei leaving the sport for a long time after this match, while John continued to dominate. One example of that is perhaps, in the abstract, one of the lesser known matches featured in this video. John Brzezink vs. Alexei Semerenko, a 2006 PAL Vendetta match, still holds true as a testament to the dominance of a primed goat. Semerenko was an established puller in his own right, and ranked amongst the top elites in the sport when the match took place. After taking a loss to consecutive fouls, John turned on serious mode and decided to show the Ukrainian Alexei a glimpse of his true arm wrestling prowess. In the ensuing five matches, Brzezink toyed with his adversary by holding him on several occasions and finishing him in a variety of brutally quick and powerful hits. At least as a consolation prize, Semerenko walked away that day having received a masterclass in arm wrestling. On the 28th of June 2012, the PAL had organized a left-handed supermatch between Devin Lerat and Andrei Pushkar. Pushkar was at that moment considered by many to be at the absolute top of the arm wrestling rankings. Despite coming in as a huge underdog though, Devin, on his end, looked to be well prepared and up to the challenge. Larat went on to win the match against the Ukrainian Pushkar in a surprisingly dominating fashion, and by doing this, he unified the world title on both hands. Although some clearly disputed this ranking at the time, it cannot be understated how small of a chance the arm wrestling community attributed Devon of actually winning this match, and it will forever go down as one of the biggest upsets in the sport. At the time, undoubtedly one of the biggest matches in arm wrestling history, in a true clash between East and West, Devon Lerat finally received an opportunity to arm wrestle the legendary Denis Siplenkov. In retrospect though, circumstances were less than ideal for the Canadian Lerat, with the match taking place on the left arm and Devon still recovering from surgery. Nevertheless, this historic match took place in 2018 as part of a PAL promotion. Although gracious in victory, Siplenkov easily defeated Lara that day and claimed victory for the East, once and for all deciding the actual number one left-handed puller in the world. Those were, in my opinion, a selection of some of the most historically significant matches in arm wrestling. 
If you know of other iconic matches, be sure to let me know in the comments and I might feature them in a potential part 2. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the Arm Historian for more Armor Sling related content. As always, a major shout out to all the Armians and Fingerfolk and everybody watching until this point. Arm Historian, out.